Welcome back to our course on PSC 11. In this section we're going to look at people. Now you may already by now be familiar with associating images with places and with events but now we're going to look at people and with people we have a bit of an added dimension as well because apart from associating a picture with a person or in fact with several people if there are several people in the picture we can also arrange the people into groups such as families so we have quite a flexible and powerful structure that we can use in relation to people in PSC 11 so let's start with a very straightforward example let's choose this picture over here that we worked on earlier on if I right click on that picture one of the options is add a person now this is a situation where I've not used any kind of automation I've just said here's a picture with a person in it I'm going to add that person to the people in my PSC 11 catalog so I click on add a person I type in a name click on add and that person is now successfully added you may just have noticed a little icon appeared and disappeared again as the person was added to the catalogue now notice that in some pictures there may be more than one person so this little panel stays open and I can keep adding people until I finish with it then I just click on close so now I just go into the people tab and I'll see that I've got one looks like a stack really of images there with the name Toby A on it if I want to see the pictures that are in that stack I just double click on there and there are all the pictures I've got of Toby A now this is clearly part of a version set so the image I started with was one part of that version set obviously I can expand and collapse that but that gives me a great way of finding all the pictures I've got with Toby A in them when I finish looking at that if I click on back it takes me back to this sort of home page which enables me to choose a person to look at who I've got the images of now there are various functions down here such as rename remove create a slideshow these are all things for you to experiment with of course and one of the common things here you maybe have noticed it when we're on the media tab as well is that there is normally an add people button at the bottom of these relevant views of the catalogue and this is an alternative to using the menu option for adding people so that's added one person and one picture or perhaps more specifically one version set for that person let's go back to the media again and look at another way of adding people now one of the things that PSC 11 can do is to recognize faces in pictures it's actually quite good at this although it's not perfect and one of the things you could do if you have a large catalog of images and you haven't been tagging them with the people in the images is to just do a scan of your whole catalog and get PSC 11 to tell you which pictures appear to have people in them and then you can go through and tag them with the right people now to do this open the catalog as I've got my catalog open here with the media tab selected it won't find faces in projects so basically it won't search these it'll actually give me a warning about these but in straightforward images it'll look for faces if I've got a particular number of images that I want to search I can select those first if I've got no images selected and in fact I've got none here I'll just press the escape to make sure then it will search all of the images in the catalogue so click on add people button at the bottom it says are you sure you want to find people in all currently displayed photos I'm gonna say yes it gives me this warning people recognition supports photos only your selection includes invalid items which will be skipped this is basically the projects like the photo book the slideshow etc click on OK and it's come up with a number of faces now of course one of the faces it should know who is this well if I click on that I know that that is Toby A I could type the name again but as soon as I type the letter T it gives me a list of every name that I've got beginning with a T I've only got the one Toby A 
so that's identified Toby A. Now let's identify one of the other people. Let's try to identify this person. Now this person is Simone C. Now that's the first picture we've got of Simone C. So I've identified those two. I'm going to save those two and it comes up with some others. Now notice what happens here is that it comes up with faces which are not really faces at all. So for instance this one, this is on one of my guys and that's not really a person so I just click on the cross in the corner just to say no that isn't anybody. Here's another one from a guy that isn't anybody. This one is interesting because this is actually Simone C again but because she's got something over her head it couldn't recognize her so I'm going to click on that one and it shows well it's either Simone C or Toby A well that's Simone C actually let's click on save let's go to this first one here this is Chris C and so on. So I can carry on going through that eliminating the ones that are not people at all. It's actually thought that this signpost is a person. Click on save and it will carry on taking me through. So PSE 11 very much relies on its own internal intelligence to decide which things look most like faces in pictures and when you get a certain way down the list of options what you see are pictures that are much less and less like normal human faces you might just about think that that one would be but most of the others certainly not so you can keep clicking save it'll keep coming up with ideas but when you get to a certain point you think well it's not coming up with any something useful anymore just before we finish this I'd like to just point out one thing to you. You can download or update your Facebook friends list to use this as a list of names to assign with people. I'm not going to use that here partly because I'm not going to show you my list of Facebook friends. When I've got to this point I click on cancel. I finish doing that now and let's have a look to see what we found about people. So let's go to the People tab and of course now we've got three people. We've got Chris C, Simone C, Toby A. If we click on Simone for instance, double click, open up, we see both of the pictures that feature Simone. Come back and we've got the people listed there. Now I have just a couple of other things to add quickly here. One of them is if I click on Group here I can see that I've got no groups at the moment. I've got a tag here saying these are ungrouped people. But I can create a group. By default with PSC 11 I get a group colleagues, family, friends. I can add a group. I could call the group C family. If I stick with group none C family does not become part of an existing group. So I click on OK there's C family and I can either then take that tag drop it onto one of the pictures or take a picture drop it onto the tag and the C family group has got these two people in it now in that way as with other keyword tags and so on you can build up the structure for the groups of people So just one last thing to show you now. I've got these three pictures here. One of them we've done some work on earlier on. Let me double click that middle picture. Watch what happens. Chris C. Yep, we know it's Chris C. So that's fine. Let's go back to the grid. Lose the little back arrow here for grid. Now let me try the first one. Double click. Is this Chris C? What PSC 11 is doing now is identifying there is a person, a face in this picture. It's looking at the people we've already identified and it's done a pretty good job of identifying who this person is. Now if I said no it would let me identify it as somebody else or actually add it as a new person. In this case I know that it's Chris C so I say yeah that's Chris C, that's fine. 
and in a similar way I can identify any unidentified people in any of my images and of course I could have more than one person in an image let me just show you a very quick example of that if I go right down to the bottom here again let's go down to this picture here right click add a person this has actually got Chris C and Simone C in it so it's impossible in this case clearly for PSC 11 to identify their faces because of the angles they've got their faces at and so on but if I type in C yep that identifies that as Chris C and then I also know yep that's definitely Simone C and Simone click on close go back to people go to Simone and of course Simone is now identified as being in that picture as well so I hope you can see plenty of possibilities there in terms of categorization of your images with people and also of course making it so much easier to find say all the pictures you've got of a certain member of the family one of your friends one of your colleagues an easy way of going to all of the media you've got associated with that person so that's the end of this section I'll see you in the next one